Okay, here's the plan. Evita starts at 2.45. Yeah. Think we can get there? You couldn't get me there if you had handcuffs and a gun. <laughs> or me. I hear Madonna plays the first lady in Chile, and she doesn't even get naked. <laughs> Correction, try Argentina. You don't hear her correcting it doesn't even get naked part, do you? She's got a kid now. In the war between the sexes, the hottest battles are always over what to do with the lights out. Oh, and before you even go there, I'm talking about choosing a movie. Fine. So what are you guys willing to see? Don't get up, honey. I'll get that for you. I got the money right here. Steven Seagal's a blockbuster. Deader than dirt? Yep. I hear it's die hard in the cemetery. What do you say, honey? Murray? If you ever spot me at a Steven Seagal movie, call somebody, because I am in full mental meltdown. You're sure you're supposed to play golf with Daddy today? Yeah, and two of his law partners. If they give the OK, I'll be an intern at the firm this spring. He must have spaced it. He had to grab a helicopter to Palm Springs early this morning. What, on business? Yeah, I can't remember whether he said it was a deposition or a breast. <sighs> oh, Murray, Sean, you remember my former stop nightmare, Josh. Hey, good to see you guys. Good timing. We need a tie-breaking vote to see Deader Than Dirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hear it's like Die Hard in a mortuary. Cemetery. Ooh, that's better. Oh, I guess I'll just have to go from room to room saying how I'm not going to see that stupid film. Oh, hey, Josh. Hey. Wicked golf outfit. Thanks. Oh, hey, you need two extra players? Oh, please. Actually, it would be uncool to blow off a tea time at Mel's Club. Yes. You guys golf? <laughs> hit a little white ball, chase it, then hit it again. Now, there's a waste of time even compared to a Madonna movie. <sighs> Tell that to Tiger Woods. He just got a $40 million deal with the shoe company. And that's on top of what he wins on the golf tour. $40 million just to wear that swoosh. Yo, dig it, Murr. We're too short for basketball, too scared for football, and too butch for the ice capades. Hey, this golf business may be worth a look. <laughs> Listen, tell Madonna we said hasta la vista. We're going on a date with our new role model, Tigger. Tiger. Whatever. It's going to be a long day. Shelley's Gothic Horror Classic examines two views of uh, one reality. Now, while he was sure that he'd created life, <laughs> the villagers were equally sure that Dr. Frankenstein had created a monster. Now, I assume you're all familiar with the uh, assignment? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amber, can you tell us uh, what part of the Frankenstein saga you found most illuminating? Cake. It's when Frau Blucher broke into our sweet mystery of life. Hello, that was Madeline Kahn. Cloris Leachman was Frau Blucher. Yeah, what are you, slow? <laughs> oh, and Mr. Hall, technically, I believe the name was pronounced Frankenstein. You know, I get the unsettling impression that uh, many of you mistakenly assumed that seeing some movie would uh, satisfy your obligation to read this novel. Well, I feel that I deserve an exemption since Mel Brooks is a neighbor. He and Anne live in the smaller estate next door, and they screen the film every year on Shavuos. Gene Wilder usually stops in. La de freaking da. Yeah. Uh, Dion, bite me, okay? People, I was really hoping that we could lift this whole discourse onto a much higher plane than bite me. Now, uh, for those of us who don't live next to Mel Brooks, uh, who can identify the book's central theme? Say, uh... Would you like to share that magazine with the rest of the class? No, sir, but thank you anyway. You know, in the teaching trade, what I just said is known as a rhetorical question. So let's have it. Uh-oh. Well, Mr. Hall is renowned campus-wide as the most mellow of the maestros. An outside periodical in class is a fully bustable offense. Well, this really 
frosts me. I know, sir, and I can explain. It belongs to Sean. Oh, possession Sean. is nine-tenths uh, of the David. David. It's just that I'm a subscriber, and I haven't received this spring issue yet. I mean, that's the kind of thing that just... This putt is so important to a career. So much is riding on it, so much pressure. And so it really comes down to this putt, this $700,000 putt, just a few feet. But all of the history, all of the humanity is watching. Hundreds of millions of golf fans, Mr. Hall's family, his grandparents, his children, some who haven't even been born yet. Because this putt, it can devastate, it can shatter the... Aren't you Roy Firestone, the ESPN guy? Up close, prime time. And this is your prime time moment, Mr. Hall. A $700,000 putt. Roy, would you put a sock in it? I'm trying to putt here. I understand. Gotcha. But it is a big putt. He readies himself. Shh. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Mr. Hall usually punished offenders with a boring, allegedly character-building writing assignment. But the only punishment he handed out this time was to make us endure a golf chat till the bell rang. How come when he caught me reading a Vogue, I had to turn in an essay on fashion's role in literature? Amber, as I recall, that was one of the articles in that actual issue of Vogue. <laughs> True, but I still had a bribe daddy secretary to type it up on my essay stationery. So what are you saying? You'd feel better if my boo got in trouble? <laughs> yes, you're such a... Dick, um, I need to ask you something that I've never asked you before. If it's forgiveness for cheating on me, I hope you're packing a wonderful present and something to protect your privates. Oh, it's nothing like that. But it's good to know that that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. Actually, we were at the golf course today, and we noticed that people were looking at us kind of funny. Wait, you mean the people at Daddy's Country Club? Everybody else was all, like, decked out. So we were wondering... If you guys could get us into some golf garb. See, we've highlighted some looks we think that might work for us. Catch me, because I'm tripping. Is this the man that I've been trying to dress for a year? The man who will go nowhere near a mall under any circumstances? Is this man asking me to go shopping? Is that a yes? That's not a yes. That is a yes! yes! be hopelessly, pathetically wrong. I thought you were enjoying your space. Well, I was at first, but I'd like to have you in my space with me every once in a while, Murray. Last night would have been nice. Yeah. See, look, I can explain last night. Last night I was at the green, practicing my putting stroke. And the night before that at the driving range, and the day before that at a golf lesson. Saturday and Sunday playing 18 holes with Sean. What are you, keeping score or something? You got this written down somewhere? No, Murray, I don't have to write it down. I can remember when my boyfriend ignores me because of some dumb golf obsession. Oh, I'm dumb now. I see. No, you know what? I am. For trying to come between you and your new love. You can go work on your putts full time. Go away. Hey. Ooh, trouble on the home front? Oh, yeah. But the good news is we can shoot 36 holes this weekend, baby. Yes! Man, look, I've been working on my grip. 
foot squeezing golf balls, tennis balls, tires. And... If there was a Betty Ford Center for golf abuse, Murray would be fully on his way there, bound and gagged in the trunk of Dee's car. How do I compete with a sport? If it were another girl, I would know what to do. This. See? Hey. Quick and effective. The important thing is avoid codependent thinking. Don't blame yourself. I don't. Excellent. I blame you. Me, as if. Was it or was it not your former step challenge that turned Murray on to golf in the first place? Yeah, but only after you brought up the idea so that we could watch that Madonna movie in peace. Cher, you're giving me details. I do not need details. I need you to fix this. Oh, she can be such a witch. You know, in that witchy, fun, Melissa Joan Hart sort of way. Whether or not I bore any blame, the fact is Dion is in pain, and my official duties as best friend demand that I find a way to help. Murray's golf jag is just fully off the wall. <laughs> oh, no. I've seen guys get the fever before, but old Murray's burning up. We're supposed to play again on Saturday. He's playing every day, hitting balls at the range every night, spending zero time with Dion. Well, naturally, she blames me. Okay, well, like all new golfers that get the bug, eventually he'll burn out and play a lot less. I don't have time for eventually. By then, he and Dee could be over. I have to try something. Wait, no, no, no. Chair, be careful, all right? The golf course is a sacred place. An oasis where guys can go would be guys. Oh, please. I'm 175 yards from the pen. That's what I hit my six. You must be a golf angel who was sent here to give us heavenly guidance. Close. I'm a golfer who's here because he was about to hit my ball. Or that. All right. Not unless your name starts with a D. Sorry. It's D for Daisy! You're Daisy Fuentes, host of MTV's Top 20 Video Countdown and Revlon spokesmodel. Yeah, it is a lot to get on a business card. Excuse me. Perfect. And the shot wasn't bad either. Have a good round, fellas. Am I drooling a lot? Nah. Lord help me, I do love this game. Dee couldn't be any sadder. This is how David Lee Roth must have looked when he got the news he wasn't rejoining Van Halen after all. Anyway. Josh had unintentionally given me a plan, and it was time to put it into action if I could. Hey, Miller, you wearing a sports bra? Looks good. Doesn't lift and separate, but it'll support you better than any man ever will. Coach Seymour, could I ask you a very personal question? Horowitz, you know the drill. If it looks bad, feels bad, or smells bad, wash it immediately and have a professional look at it. No, I was just wondering if you did any private coaching. Off campus. Are you wearing a wire? Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Excellent drive. Yeah, it's a lot like me. Nice and long and straighter than a preacher's tax return. <laughs> ah! Man, you got us by 20 yards on that one easy. Yeah, I hate to tell you this, fellas, but this game is already getting a little too easy for me. Hey, now, don't get cocky, Murray. The golf gods always get the last laugh. <laughs> yeah, right. When? Uh, my guess would be just about now. Dee, what are you doing here? Well, it is apparently the only way I can spend any time with you. Mind if we join you? You mean, like, play golf? Well, that would be fine, I guess. But, uh, <coughs> unfortunately, they only allow foursomes, and we would be six, so sorry. Uh, no, no, I'm not playing. Endanger $300 worth of acrylics? <laughs> it ain't happening. Why did we bring her? Because she's really annoying. Ah, yes. And Jerry says that we can play as a fivesome or do anything else I'd like to do. Jerry? Who's Jerry? Jerry! Don't make me come over there! Oh, what? Hey, a great putt's a great putt. You rock! Yo, Murray, who knew I would beat you my first time out on the course? <laughs> oh, did you beat me? I guess I wasn't paying attention to the actual score. Um, yes. Six strokes less is definitely beating you. <laughs> I'm out of here. Murray? What? Baby, I only invaded your oasis to get your attention. Oh, well, you did. You also proved that you could get hit on by strangers and ruin something that I was enjoying. Well, maybe it needed to be ruined, Murray, because it's ruining us. Oh, well, I'm guessing that's not going to be a problem anymore. Fine. I'm guessing the same thing. The next time that I ask you for help with a problem, just say no. You think it'd be a mistake to give that golf marshal dude, Jerry, my home number? Oh, I get it. Dee is the only one who's allowed to have a relationship crisis? Oh. You know, the saddest part is, he still fully digs her. Murray talks tough, but this is tearing him up. Same with Dee. They're both just way too ballistic right now, to be honest. Maybe this is just a future lawyer speaking, but this is exactly why people hire attorneys. How fascinating, Josh. Why don't you go stand over there with Amber? I just mean that since they both basically want the same thing, each other, they could use calm, objective people to hash out their differences on their behalf. D on the way up! D! All my man Murray wants is her assurance that she swung her last golf club in his presence. Agreed. If, for every 18 holes of golf, Murray agrees to see what I believe you guys call a chick flick. A chick? What? You're the fine. 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 Sold. Now, are there any other open issues to talk about? We both agreed he's never even going to consider taking up cigars. Hey, I'll smack him myself if he even tries. Well, then I think that's it. Just let me double check. D? Hey, you want to go to the driving range and hit a couple buckets? Sure. Maybe I can help you fix your slice. Yeah, right. You help me? Please. <laughs> Fine. 
fine laugh, but Coach Deemer said that my form could get some serious attention at the LPGA. <laughs> in romance, as in golf, it's great to get a fresh start with a blank scorecard so you can make those same dumb mistakes all over again. Marcus. Okay, you've proven that you can get it. Hit it. Man. You want to go to the driving range and hit a couple buckets? Buckets? Buckets. <laughs> okay. He and his wife, Anne, live on... I've never done this before. <laughs> if you ever spot me at a Steven Seagal movie, call somebody, because I am in full mental meltdown. <laughs> Too butch for the ice capade. Uh, hey, this golf business may be off. Because I am in need of serious medical attention. <laughs> I, I, I have to ask your situation regarding a situation that's come up. That's not it. Can <laughs> 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 we just get through the scene today?